Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Warland Tactical. I'm out scouting locations and uh, actually filming a little bit, sporting the first tactical hat, the first tactical V2 pants, and the first tactical BDU pant, uh, belt. And in this video, we're going to feature the Grayman tactical setup from graymantactical.com. They make the ramp rigid moly panels that go on your seat backs or wherever. They got 35 different sizes. I do not have 35 different sizes yet, but I have So we're heading down the road. I don't normally film while I drive, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Or at least you're out doing something. Enjoy it. If you got the nice weather, capitalize on it. You YouTubers out there, go film. Take full advantage of the good days, the bad days, whatever you got. Just film share with people I guess this is a bit of vlogging I never really vlogged I'm just a content making discount pushing master of disaster so what we're going to scout out guys is uh, it's called the Red Rover mine it's an old gold mine I'm gonna go look at the location take you guys with me and that's what we're doing. I haven't had a chance to go out. I've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff, so sorry about that. But here we are, and uh, we'll see that here shortly. What else you guys want to talk about? Comment below. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, like, comment, do all that fun stuff. I'm gonna have lots of gear to show you here soon. When it all starts trickling in. But again, in this video, I'll be showing you the Gray Man tactical stuff and a bit of first tactical stuff. If you guys haven't seen first tactical stuff, uh, the link will be down below. If you haven't seen Gray Man tactical stuff, the link will definitely be down below in the description. Both, both these two companies, got to check them out. They are awesome. It's kind of weird driving with a GoPro, I'm telling you guys. Never done it. Different. Okay guys, I made it here. As you can see, there's no trailhead. There's absolutely nothing. For a famous spot, they should have done a lot better. All right, behind my driver's seat, here's my Gray Man tactical setup. Right now, this is my snake stick that I have in my AR mount because the weather's getting warmer and I'm getting set up for uh, catching those reptiles. I got the Prodigy knife right here. This is a custom Sotec double mag pouch. 
This is only one in the world, made custom for me. This is my Sear Sotec backpack. And that is another multi-cam snake bite kit, pair of binoculars. So this attaches top, middle, however you want. You can secure it with a cable lock. I have the subdued label on mine. So there you have it. Oh, left out the SOG multi-tool. So this is my setup for this panel. Let's go to the back real quick. My other one is the cargo area. So I got the, the Husky case all decked out, by the way. I'm in the rear cargo now. Okay. Here's my Gray Man Tactical cargo area setup. I have it secured with carabiners and their patented headrest mount. Normally this goes around the headrest right here. I put a carabiner for quick access point. I like it a little better, but that's just me. So in here I have my extrication setup, safety helmet, Home Depot safety flag. This is a my PP&E setup. There's your goggles, leak proof, and my 3M mask. Here's my spare for the wife. Spare flashlight. That's the Gerber Recon. And this right here holds a couple pairs of gloves. We got a roll of caution tape. We got the Ozark Thousand Loom. Let's get the adjust a little bit more. The Ozark Thousand Loom light for traffic purposes or whatever. It's rechargeable. I've done a video on it before. As a battery light meter, it's fully charged. You can also charge your devices with that as well. Got my knee pads and my evacuation tool or my pry bar water tool. You're not really gonna use this on the freeway, but the pry bar and robust area. I like it because it's zinc and it won't start fires. So how I have it set up is I have D-rings on both sides and my daily driver. Unclip that, unclip that. This will allow it to rotate up and I can grab my trauma pack, which you guys have seen. This is when you subscribe, this is the bag you see. I will do a better video on it. I got some rain gear in here, another spare flashlight underneath my trauma bag, and safety glasses immediately on the end. And that's that, guys. I do have more gear in my vehicle, but this is my quick access road kit that I will need. In the event of an accident and I'm jumping out to help somebody. All right, guys, let's grab some kit and I'll take you to the mine.
All right, guys. Here I am standing on the top of the mine shaft. Let me see if I can get you guys a shot of this. It's like a thousand foot down. There's a big piece of agate. Oh, check this out. There's a nest. As you can see, they have a cow fence in there, so you can't get through. It's completely blocked. I know you guys can't feel it, but there is a seriously cold draft coming out of that cave. Well, guys, I was hoping it was still open, the, uh, the nest up in there. Apparently, in the past, they did cut it open, but it looks like they sealed it back up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I found another shaft. Sorry, I've been stopped to talk to somebody that I was going to film him. He was giving me the history of the area, but uh, he didn't want me to film him. So it is what it is. I did find a, uh, a nail, old nail they used for the mine shaft. That's kind of cool. Here's another entrance we can walk in a, like three feet and they closed it off. He was telling me the whole history of this. There's actually still gold here. The gentleman that owns the property is still down there and he still mines on part of it. Let's see if we can uh, get some light on the subject here. But here's the other entrance. Yeah, that's a horrible light. Yeah, but he put the guy, I guess the owner of the land, obviously blocked it off because people were getting lost in this thing. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can capture some of this with the GoPro. Damn, I would love to take you guys in here. Here's some of the mine wall. It's about all we can do. I can just slide the camera in here. But you can see some of the old wood. Looks like a bunch of rat droppings. All right, guys. I'm going to go scout around, look at some more spots. In the meantime, like, subscribe, comment below. Go check out Gray Man Tactical. It'll be in the description below. And in that description, you're going to find a code, Warland15, for 15% off their products. So enjoy, go check out their products, and be well, guys. See you guys on the next adventure.